Hey guys, welcome back to House Bolton Winds of Winter sub mod. So let's get straight and right into it. Uh, we we're moving into the Riverlands. I'm going to go through all my armies are. So basically, we have Roost Bolton here. We also have Ramsey with an army moving down. We have Horsebane and uh, Magna in the Vale heading over to uh, the Eyrie, which we're going to attack. I think that's pretty much all my armies. I think I um no no. I'm creating an army in White Harbor again, but apart from that, we got this to do. So we're invading the Riverlands now. Uh, we were just walking past. I was going to get like Ramsey and Rooster rally up to maybe attract Raven Tree, but funnily enough, Amory Lorch has attacked Harold Hardling, the faction leader. So Robert Aaron is dead. I didn't realize that. Oh no. Yeah, he must be because he's the heir. No, he's the faction leader. What? Oh, Bataya Bailey is dead then as well. So basically, the Lannisters pulled me into this, and I think it's a good idea to attack it because it's a faction leader. So Emery Lorch has a pretty shit army. What about the reinforcement army? Oh, it's not too bad. But with compacted with my army, we should be able to win this battle. And I think that's pretty much all the resistance of the Vale in the Riverlands. So yeah. Anyway, um. So we still have to do that. Um, I think this army and one at Raven Tree. I think there's another one just a little bit north of us. Okay, where are we? Whoa, there's the Vale. Now where's my army? Reinforced from the Dreadfort. And they're coming out. We're pretty far away though. They're all the way fucking up there. They're going to reform. Hopefully we can go in there and save the day and hopefully kill... Harold the heir. I don't know if he have any has any children. We're pretty far away. The flayed man of Hell's Bolton. So Pataya Bailey, she's dead. Um, the Aaron's out of the game. Obviously, ha um, Harold has a little bit of Aaron blood in him because he's Robert's. He's Robert Aaron's. No, John Aaron, sorry. John is John Aaron's sister, is his mother. I think we're pretty well in the... Is everyone in? Move out. We can go in and save the Lannisters. We should be pretty all right. Reclaim the Riverlands. And put... Harold's head on a spike. I'm gonna get them to march because I think we'll lose too much energy if we run. What's the percentile at the moment? Two to nine, they're not doing too bad. So the main plan is we're going to be moving our swordsmen in first and then we're going to put the archers and the dismounted knights at the back. There we go, run. Actually, no, don't run. Actually, we'll just wait until we get closer to redeploy. How are we going? We really need to get our troops in there. But I guess the more of them they kill, the better for us. I guess we could actually move our cavalry in there. I didn't think of that. Especially not hitting the spear militia. The Boltons are here. The Boltons of Winterfell. <laughs> the Boltons of Winterfell. That doesn't really sound right. Well, they're technically the Boltons of the Dreadforts, but... Is that the... No, that's not Harold there. 
crossbowmen to come out of formation. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Oh yeah, we killed the general. Holy crap! So he's dead. And I think it's time to move our men at arms in. Get them charged. Where's Roos? Well, they go going there. We'll put them there. Put archers behind on fire. And of course, put Roos there. How's our cavalry doing? These guys should be fighting crossbowmen. Here come the men at arms. Our arch is gonna have a crack at him. Oh, these guys are gonna do interesting against the macemen. Yo, charge. How's that cav? These archers, swordsmen. The enemy are badly bloody. They have lost half their men. Oh, and looks like more reinforcements have come in with the Lannisters. Good. Hope we can try to capture as many as possible, and I will ransom them to the Vale. Because <laughs> I'll try to get as much money as possible. Shame we didn't capture Harold. I probably would have let him live. <laughs> Make the game a little bit more interesting. So it looks like the Lannisters lost. They would have lost without me. No joke. Luckily we got there in time. Look like we're, lucky we're in the area. So what do we get for a reward? A pretty span dank and fort. That'll give us a little bit of a foothold. To, uh, whether to decide to move on Raven Tree first. There they come now, the rest of the Lannisters. We captured nearly a thousand. We lost a hundred and three men. We killed three hundred and seven. They lost seven. They lost their main army really, and their other army didn't even get in the game. The drowned god makes men, but it's the men who make crowns. You're on red hand. And whoa! The veil is out of the game. Faction destroyed, House Aaron. Shit. Really? 
So that's gone. House Aaron is out of the game because we killed bloody Harold the heir. Well, looks like we're going to try and gobble up as many settlements as quickly as possible. We'll move what's his face to the eerie here then. And we'll move Orsbane. Okay, so that's kind of shitty. Uh, I didn't really expect that, but the hell I guess. So who's this here? Some Vale troops. Do we have reinforcements from Ram Bruce? No. Well looks like the Lance is gonna take Raven Tree. I guess what all we can do is obviously take Fair Market. We can take the Eerie. I guess try to recruit as many troops as possible. Is there a pike? Hey guys, welcome back. I don't know why I could see the whole map there. That was kind of odd. But anyway, um, we're besieging the Vale. Wow, Vale <laughs> tribesmen of the Vale. <laughs> Look, oh wow. The tribesmen must have overtaken, um, must have overtaken the Eerie once Harold Harling fell. It's rather interesting. Roderick Risewell. Ugh. Um, he's 70 years old. Let's have a look at his traits. Okay. Yet again, we need another general. We have Euron Reed at the Dreadfort. We have Theon Norrie at Winterfell. Where are our generals? We've got Roos and Ramsey at Fair Market. We've got Hotha Horsebane. Roderick. Magna besieging the area. Okay. So we pretty much run out of enemies at the moment. I would imagine that the Tyrells, House Joffrey, I mean House Tommen, sorry, would be attacking Martell. Um, Arnoff Mormont. Five star general, wow. He's a good general, but I don't want to adopt him. Okay, um, yeah, who else is still in the game? Oh, the Greyjoys are still in the game. Well, they're probably at the Arbor, now that I think about it. So there's still House Lannister, House Greyjoy, House Tommen, House Tyrell, House Martell. Well, once we retake the Vale and most of their settlements, I think we're going to move on House Martell. Or the thing is, um, hmm, who should we? Who could we attack? We could attack House Tyrell. We have one marriage alliance with House. House Tommen. Hmm. I don't know. We'll have to see. Uh, I'm going to leave just a couple of troops here in the Vale while we go around and attack Strong Song. We can convert some of the units to the old gods. I mean, the set to the old gods. So we have Horsebane here besieging Longbow Hall. Oh, we have Roos. Hmm, should I play this? It's got Brendan Blackwood. Oh, we love this man at Alliance. Wow, crushing defeat. Really? Okay. So it looks like we're playing it with Ramsey then. Actually, we're going to wait. I don't think I'll be able to honestly take that. We'll move around. Keep, we'll move Roost back there. We've got some more money now. We might as well recruit 
up at the Twins, even though we can't really recruit too much more. Damn it, I got, I'm going to play that battle. Um, oh. Okay, okay. So where's this army? It's on the outskirts. Oh, and the lattice is a Beijing besieging fair market. Fucking typical. Clear victory. Nice. Morris Glover. I would usually play them, but it's just against rebels. Even though they were a part of House Aaron, it's just kind of pointless. Um, waste of time, really. Um, okay, but we will rally up with Roos here. Ah, uh, Ramsey, sorry. And I guess we can head over to the Vale, because that's where pretty much everything is at the moment. So I probably should stop recruiting at the Twins. And focus on the Vale. We can take uh, Longbow Hall though. Now hopefully we can move over to Fair Market. Not Fair Market, sorry. Um, shit. Gold Town, I think it's called. So this series actually has gone a lot quicker than what I really anticipated. It's only the 80th turn and we're pretty much... We've wiped out three houses. Well, us in particular, I mean. There's no point in really building those a lot of knights unless you spend another 20 more and you get a general. Hmm. I was thinking whether or not to build another general in the north or should I do it in the area. Can we build a general in the area? Five turns. Or maybe we probably don't have enough money actually. And they've taken fair market. What a surprise. New family b member, Edaria Bolton. So someone's had a daughter. And it's Ramsey. Ramsey's had another daughter. Edaria. What a name. Yeah, we can't move through this. We're going to have to move past Harren Hall, where Roose Bolton was once lord of. When he was part of the Starks auxiliary forces, when he supported the young wolf, bastard. <laughs> uh, we do need to convert the populace to the old gods of the north. Oh, we got Magna here. He can take the settlement. I think I might make him. I guess Lord Protector of the Eyrie for the time being. I keep on leaving a lot of troops, like. Really under garrisoned. I think we just need to build some just shitty troops just to kind of like hold the settlement. We have Horsebane here. Oh, uh, we have a lot of ships somewhere. I'm going to build a. No, I don't want to build a general at Winterfell. Where's our ships? Hey guys, just before I leave you today, I would like to go and please follow me on Twitter. It's the best way to interact with me. If you've got any questions at all, message me on Twitter and I'll reply to absolutely everything. On there you'll be able to see Let's Plays coming up, when I've posted a video, and all that good stuff. So, uh, also, if you'd like to subscribe to get all the recent up-to-date content on my channel. So, bye guys.